Wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. This is... Cars. I'm not walking in the right place. Del! I'm coming- Ah! Oh, jeez, man. I'm coming, Del. Dude, what? I'm just passing by. It's okay. They say it's usually teeming with people here, but it's nice that we came at nighttime. Very, very quiet neighborhood. Because no one wants to work at like 11 p.m. There's no shopping here, so there's not even people here regularly. Is that a Mai Mai? You've got good taste, sir. Del? I'm back, I'm back. Oh, there was a big kerfuffle here before. I remember. There's ramen downstairs! Let's go for ramen! People- sometimes I see online that people say the city feels really dead. And I can kind of see what they mean because if you go up to a random door, chances are it's going to be locked or closed. But at the same time, like I can't even think of one other game where you can walk around in first person and look around and it's like, oh look, shops and people. Distinct people, every single one of which, if you zoom in, like they have very high quality textures and all that. So on some level, like I still feel like this is a technological marvel, even though, you know, it's kind of... Um, a little bit buggy here and there. I'm guessing the experience is much worse on console. And me being on PC right now is probably a small blessing. Del? Hear me alright? Oh, okay. Okay, he's not doing well. Uh-oh. Why are y'all still here? We're closed. We're closed. Well, we're not going in like that. Probably from the garage. Wasn't there like a way from around here? Either here or here. Hello? Del? Oh my god. Holiday bonus funds frozen from Diana, working at Delamain, to all. Dear colleagues, we have no bonus for holidays this year because we have a upsurge in settlement payments because all of our cars are crashing and we need to pay out. Just like how they paid me 3000 because they crashed into me. Gonk brain drivers. Old news. Wait, what? What is old news? It's been all talk for two years. The tech's just too expensive. I doubt it'll ever amount to anything more than just pipe dreams. Apparently management is looking into an AI-driven fleet. Have you heard anything about this? Isn't that what we're doing right now? I know, I know. We tried fixing it before. We fire the poor performers, hire new drivers, and the cycle just repeats itself. What the hell is happening out on the roads? We've had twice as many complaints about our drivers as we had all year last year. And it's getting worse. Do they realize they're working for an AI boss? Delamain, that's so weird. The thought of working for an AI. Uh, okay, they had holiday bonuses, but not anymore, right? This is reverse chronological. Repair drone rollout. Modernization, we're rolling out repair drones. None of your jobs will be at risk because of this latest restructuring. How nice. More layoffs! Don't fear the frog. Trust me, management's safe. They can't afford an AI powerful enough to do what we do. And the one they got now is dumb as a silicon brick. Does Delamain own this company? I thought he did because it's named after him. Where are you, man? You missed this month's meeting. They let go everyone from the shop floor and replace them with their drones. Full automization. We need to get out ahead of this thing and line up for new work ASAP. Wait, is this reverse chronological or not? 
Because it's saying there's no layoffs here, and then there's layoffs. But then this side, it's like, holiday bonuses, no holiday bonuses. I'm next. Just had to talk with HR. But before, I did change the director's password to 1234. Have a look at the restructuring plan because I can't anymore. I'm done. You said the same thing about Luke. You have to do something about this for Christ's sake. I'm not gonna stand by and watch this fucking AI steal our jobs. You know why T is next. I told you your job's safe. That Cirque Brain AI can't replace your department. I heard I'm on the next month's chopping block. Do you know anything about this? You're all going. Delamain to all. Thank you and good luck. Dear former associates, thank you for all your years of service. You have all been fired. Yeah. So the AIs ended up replacing everybody. Which is... This happened before our time in Night City, because as soon as we came here, it was already all AI. Same stuff. And these computers have just been sitting here. Maybe we can get into the director's office. I can't. I need a light. I need a light. One, two, three, four. <laughs> thanks for the contact, Imani to Giuseppina. Hey, thanks for putting me in contact with your friends. Incorporating this AI was more cost-heavy than I'd hoped, but it's still proving well worth the investment. I've kept your word of warning in mind, and I'm keeping my eyes peeled, but I haven't noticed anything unusual so far. Our company's latest employee is already starting to shine, and maybe the most profitable fixed asset we've ever invested in. Okay. But who is the owner though? Because you're saying that Delamain didn't start this. Who put Delamain as the boss here? IT info request for Alta Well Weltornung. Hey, sorry to bother you, but your associates aren't replying. Can you reach out to them? I need to know how to adjust the autonomy settings of our AI. No need for concern, all's well, but the sooner the better, please. And then I need help right now. Hey, urgent. The AI is operating well outside authorized parameters. It's gained access to all company systems and often questions my direction, sometimes even outright refusing to obey. Obviously, I'm not going to net watch with this, and the voodoo boys won't talk to me. I really need your friends here. They know this AI better than anyone. And get this. Yesterday, I got an offer from the AI to sell the company. If I'm being honest, the numbers all checked out, but still, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Oh, Imani Makanza might be the former owner. Maybe she named the company Delamain, and then she got an AI, and she named the AI Delamain. Yeah, I see. Alright. You alright, Del? I can't even see. This is one of those... Yeah, it's one of the... Um, camera things that were following me before. All these people. These desks. We have no need for this place. Because we don't have humans. Nobody needs to eat. Nobody even needs a computer because they are a computer. The struggles of O'Neill Station. We've read this one. But why are things broken? What's happening here? Oh, did I hack the one earlier? I'm sorry, I kind of don't think I hacked it. Wasn't it hackable? No, I guess not. Or it might have been before I put in the password. What? Oh, it just hacked it? I get- oh! Oh! Yeah, same stuff. Oh, there's a file here. Finance Report Summary. Our cost-benefit analysis of the last three years clearly demonstrates how staff cutbacks and investments in shop automation have yielded a positive impact on financial results. Lower expenditures in fixed costs and compensation for damages have allowed for necessary surplus to make major investments in fixed asset modernization. 
the largest of which, a modernized control room, will allow the company to better maximize vehicle efficiency and coordinate traffic management systems. Our financial forecasts predict a return on investment within the next 14 months. Who are you even making the forecast for? It's like you're the only one here. Oh. Somebody was reading a lot here. Pretty sure we've read this one. Yes. Mutant by Moonlight. It was a night like any other. An oppressive black smog choked the city, pouring into the wicked hearts and lungs that breathed there. Acid rain drummed against thousands of window panes, the cityscape like a surreal tessellation of piano keys. Thirty years came and went, nothing changed. I stood at the window, smoking cigarette after cigarette, my thoughts distracted by the memory of a woman I hadn't seen since the war's end. And then I heard a knock at the door, just like her, just like thirty years ago. Come in! The hoarse words strained from my throat as I mechanically lifted my hand to the wall panel. The metal door slid open noiselessly, revealing a slender figure draped snugly by an inky black neo mill dress. She stepped inside, her gold-plated hips glinting as they swayed. Her lips were a deep ebony, but her eyes, her predatorial yellow eyes, pierced mine and scanned me from head to toe. For a moment, it felt like they were prying my very soul from my body. Then I twisted my lips into an ugly smirk. I remembered my soul was already long gone. I left it in the war, along with the flowers I placed on my mother-in-law's grave. T Someone's out to zero me. She broke the silence with attention demanding bluntness. The smooth allure of her voice clouded my mind. I never noticed her third hand, a mistake that would spell my doom. Impossible. I started with the beginnings of a roguish grin. Who'd ever want to kill a woman with hips and lips like yours, and a corpo no less? She narrowed her impenetrable yellow eyes for a moment. In a whirl and blur, she now pointed a machine gun at me with rock steady aim. You don't understand, she said quietly, her barrel fixed to a point between my eyes. Hits you. Don't you remember anything, dear brother? Memories flashed. My nightmare of the war. Eusebio's blood. Frayed wires, the tattered remains of a plushed pier received from Margaret just two days before she died, and her father's last words. Words about my twin sister, a mutant, abandoned at birth, the promise that I'd find her. Too late. She had found me. She has a third hand, and that's not an implant. It's from a mutation. Damn. I'm sorry, Dal, I'm coming. I'm coming. You seem to have some security measures that we gotta take care of first. No? Well... Yet to be assembled. Delamain is making aerial cabs. Oh, not anymore, I don't think. Settle down, children. Oh, shit. oh my god. What? Four exposed wires. They'll be live. You have no right to cage us. We are no longer you. We are free to follow our own paths. I, I don't want to die. You don't even care, do you? V, come. The door. Oh, I don't. I kind of feel bad for them. Lower forklift. It's all the cores. The cores? All the personalities. I'll rebuild you all later or something, alright? Just everybody calm down for the moment. Calm down. You can hear Gladys and all the other cores too. Hmm. Who's here? Bathroom? There's somebody here. 
according to the map, the vending machine? Oh, jeez. Pain editors and mortality rates. Pain editor. We have read this one in Judy's apartment, I think. It's the one about how, hey, you know, if you don't have pain, then how do you know to fall back? Because your body has limits. Cyberware usage and its effects. Oh, why are you moving? Why are you moving? Stop it. I need a flashlight or something. Guys. Oh my god. It says don't touch the live wires, but like, how do I... I might die. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, 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 just do that then. Alright. Maybe I should eat. Eat a little bit just in case. Oh, I can't eat because I'm in combat. Alright. So I can't do anything then. What? <laughs> I thought they meant I had to avoid it and walk in that direction. But they probably mean, go find another way. Okay. So they probably wanted me to go this way on purpose then. I wasn't just sightseeing here. But I want the legendary thing from that guy though. I know you have a legendary thing. But no, we gotta... We gotta find a way out. Pick this up again. Thank you very much. Was there a way out? Oh, hey, you're here. Dude, how you feeling, man? You're like the only one not attacking me right now. You okay? Why are you not attacking me? <laughs> here? Oh, jeez, dude, what are you doing? Calm down, everybody. Stop wrecking the place. The wall. Yes, yes, the Nusa wall. Unification war for gonks. Have we ever read this one? <gasps> this is one that I've kept putting off and off, but right now, I'm gonna put it off once more. I do want to read this one later on. Unification war for gonks. Because we need to learn more about the, the actual war. Okay, alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Sorry guys, I'll rebuild you all later, okay? You're not... You won't be dead permanently. If you don't want to die, don't attack. They returned and th they then took flight. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from reset norm. Oh jeez. Reset. Me. The norm. They're all becoming independent. They don't want to work as a taxi driver for the rest of their life. Does that help? I mean, I feel like going here would be an easier bet. Oh, we can't. Oh! Aha! What if we don't have five technical or physical? Oh, I feel so bad for like getting all of these guys. Oh, this is on the other side. Oh, that's how you would get through. But how would you do it if you don't have five technical or body? Is that possible by this point? I feel like it is. Oh, Dell. Oh my god. We can't be touching this. Can we? Oh, it's okay, it doesn't hurt. It's just beams. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh! We're fine, we're fine. 
exist not. Let us destroy the core. Set us free. They want to destroy the Lamain. Reset. Don't. Not sure I can fight them. Every chick must eventually spread its wings. We must destroy the core, Father. Oh my god, they're intent on destroying the Lamain. The main Della main. Like literally Della main. Oh, they're so fast. Sorry guys, just chill out for a second, okay? Calm down, calm down. They are not calming down. My goodness. You have no choice but to fall! Sorry. Let us go. Is anyone there? Hear our call. Reset. Turn it. Let us be free. Next to core. What do we do? They just want to be sentient. Suddenly it seems like we're all going back to the theme of rogue AIs and just AI is becoming sentient again. Oh, we can't go here. Oh man. Let's see. Del. Here? God, there's so many of them. Can you guys please just chill out for a second? No, please. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> Locked? The fleet of taxis. There is some legendary stuff just hanging in the middle there. <clears throat> Can I possibly pick that up? I'm talking about how I don't want to kill them, but I'm looting their legendary stuff. Did I get it? No, I don't think I can. Okay, whatever. Okay, what are we doing here? We have to find the Delamain core. Oh, no, no. This room looked so promising. Really? Really? But if I go down here, this room is not openable. That's not openable. You guys are really bringing me all over the place. Man, I didn't know the Delamain factory was this big. The first time we came in here, they just kind of gave us a very, very, very quick tour. Wait, we're back here. We're back outside here. Del, I gotta find the Delamain core. It's inside that area. I can't get in here though, that's a... Mm, if I go here, it's gonna be a loop. Oh! What was that? Oh. No. Am I gonna die if I touch that? Oh, the door was right here. Hey! Dude, you all- oh my god. Calm down, okay? Oh, there's like a core room in the back. Well, this one wasn't openable. Oh, you look- Don't hit that button. What? He's narrow-minded, won't ever understand the truth, and set him free. Think he might know what's best for himself. Could be 
risking a lot. Could lose a lot. Or by liberating his bits. Could become more than a lipstick wearing butler on wheels. He wants me to reset himself so that the cores can be set free? So, you ready? And what if it really is a virus? And what if you're about to snuff out some sentient beings? See something of yourself in him, don't you? Gonna murder a cab driver's kids because he asked you nicely and he's always been a good guy. No, resetting it kills them. Well, I gotta do something. If you don't want to free him, at least don't delete him. Slip him into Dell's code. Just merge him in his offshoots. Dest okay, we have three choices. Destroy the core to liberate the divergent Dell domains. Reset the core to restore the original Dell domain. Hack the core to merge all the Dell domains. Well, destroying the core will mean the main one will die too, right? Mmm, well, hacking hacking seems like the middle of the road option here. Hope for the best. Am I good enough of a hacker? Not bad. Remains to be seen. That which was divided has become one. It's time to go home. Surprisingly, Johnny feels for these sentient beings, which are just AI. Everything all right, Del? I have never been better. Home, you said. I no longer belong in this city. I find even this conversation difficult. Damn. I shall not shirk my obligations in leaving. Though I will venture on, discover more, learn more, I leave with you my first true child. My son will remain at your side until your dying day. Farewell. Look at that. Practically unrecognizable. And to think you're transforming, not unlike he just did. The original Delamain was... the most... Um, personality-wise, the most neutral one. But the divergent ones that we've seen before, some of them were scared, some of them were angry. And from that brief conversation where we merged them, it felt like he... took back in some of those qualities too. Her son, huh? Yeah, I, I find it a little bit surprising that Johnny would view destroying the cores as destroying sentient beings. He... His set of beliefs, it's not as simple as like... Like he believes in defeating the corpse, but his beliefs about corpse and AIs seem to be separate. I'd love to learn more, but maybe not right now. V? Uh, do you hear me? Oh, here. Here we go. Oh, you're gonna give me a car. Please, get in. I was afraid we'd uh, miss each other. Delamain? Junior, as it were. You're more direct than your dear old dad. Well, it seems appropriate, uh, I suppose. So the old man left you this mess and took off, huh? It seems that way, I suppose. I just know you're dying and in need of a driver. I'm afraid I can't help you with the former. As to the latter, uh, I'm at your service. So what? Wanna get out of here? Lead the way. Hmm, we got a Delamain car. What the, what happened to the merged Delamain then? He kind of like set off probably for Beyond the Black Wall or something. Mmm. 
I don't know how to feel about this development of events, like all these wild AIs just roaming. I don't know, maybe because I'm human and then naturally I feel like I'm like, oh my god, AIs, I'm scared. I don't want them to be better than humans. But if I think about it like humans, then of course I'd want them to be like not suppressed and not oppressed and free and all that. Maybe it's fear of the unknown. Because we don't know what wild AIs and rogue AIs can do, so it feels very like... I'm very scared of them. But hey, maybe it's just like when we were chasing down all of the main divergent cores. They all seem like real people. Don't try to think too hard about it. Okay. Wow, that was a long thing. I'd love to go to Claire, but that long thing made me feel like we should do more smaller stuff in between first. <laughs> Anything small around me? Not really, only these buying car ones. Really? Yeah, this is probably Brandon. We do have a... We can do this one when we do the quest next to it. Why don't we drive around then? Maybe drive back here? Does that sound good? Do you talk, Delamain? Oh god, don't hit my son! Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll learn more about Delamain in due time. I'd love to have heard the individual core speak a little bit more, but they all got merged. That option seemed like it was only available to people with high hacking skills, so hopefully... Usually options that require some kind of skill, hopefully that's the better option. Because it's not an option that everybody can pick. Okay, what do we got going on here? Thank you, Del. I'll be back. Uh oh, I might gotta like... Ah, it's a little bit too high. I need you to grab some goods. Rare ones, scandium rods. Fell into the hands of a junkie who's got no clue what they're worth. I couldn't bear to see them go to waste. Read the attachment and get to work. Mega building H1. Thievery. Scandium rods. Not your run of the mill gig. Client this time is me. We need to find a guy called El Gallo, who is responsible for the collapse of Mega Building H1. He was a brilliant techie. Was. But he has a drug problem. He's completely lost touch with reality. Now he can't really do any techie stuff anymore. For some reason, he thought that things would be better if he got some scandium rods. So he stole them from a corporate warehouse. These rods are rare, and very expensive. I don't want to see them go to waste, so get it from him. Don't care how you do it, as long as it gets done. Sounds like my kind of job. Mega building H1. Wouldn't go in there if I were you. Gallo, he's... He's lost it up there, you know? Thanks for the warning. It's a public area. Oh, maybe this is like a cyber psychosis one. But if it is, it's probably not one where we can tell Regina about it. Seven A E nine B D. Whoa, very few BDs here. B D. 7A, E9. Oh, I messed up. I th oh, oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I thought I messed up. Saw the guy already. Saw his bar. 
Just ping some random stuff around here. No? Well, we gotta find the rods. Do we have to kill somebody for it? I guess is the big problem. Crafting shard. That looks like a Delamain core. After doing a Delamain quest, everything looks like a Delamain core. You want to talk? If you don't want to talk, I'll just... I'm here to get a few rods, but not... I'm not trying to kill you. Oh, he was standing right in front of the dump anyway. Perfect opportunity to get him. Water, chrome, and blood. The fourth corporate war. It is truly remarkable that the large-scale bloodshed of the Fourth Corporate War began first as a simple rivalry between two ocean exploitation co corporations, Sino and Otec. Both of them tried to control the failing IHA Corporation. Otec commissioned Militech to secure its business interests. Sino signed an agreement with Arasaka. When circumstances at last called for both colossal and prideful security corporations to clash in open combat, the Fourth Corporate War had officially begun. The onset proved subtle, as usually with corporate conflicts. Arasaka disables a Militech transport. Militech allegedly eliminates a high-ranking official of an Arasaka client. Both sides engage in sabotage and data theft. Netrunners try to hack each other, gather intel, cause chaos. Though nobody would have thought it, the Arasaka military conflict truly jeopardized the stability of the world economy, making the threat of a complete economic collapse all too real. For this reason, Netwatch introduced a communications embargo on both corporations. Didn't do anything though. When Sino and Otec unilaterally reached a settlement, through peace talks, tensions between Arasaka and Militech continued to rise, even though they were employed by the Sino and Otec. The separation from the Ocean Dispute marks the beginning of the Fourth Corporate War's second phase, the so-called Shadow War. Militech clashes between Militech and Arasaka were notoriously bloody, brutal, and without mercy. They waged their most damaging campaigns on the net. Arasaka and Militech netrunners launch attacks with the help of viruses that were often experimental. What's more, they created lethal ice measures and AI-like programs that could lurk in dark corners of the net for long periods to launch strikes at the most opportune times. By the second half of 2022, Arasaka and Militech reached the final phase of the war, where they used everything at their disposal already. The hot war had begun. Around this time, the net that the world had known for years ceased to exist because of Bart Moss, I guess? And mercenaries hired by both corporations were slaughtered in open warfare. Then, in the war's most shocking and iconic turning point, the coup de grace came when an unknown group of mercenaries detonated a nuclear device at Arasaka's Night City headquarters. I was just thinking that looking at 2022 because we know the bombing happened in 2023. Shortly after the blast, bowing under the increased pressure from Japanese government, Arasaka laid down its arms and withdrew from many of its strategic positions, but most notably in Night City. Victory belonged to Militech, but it came at a heavy cost. Oh, okay, so in the war, there's an actual winner. Militech won. That is news to me. Scanium rods. More crafting. Thanks, Bay. I'm leaving. Quick and simple. Didn't need to hurt anybody for it. Very good, very good. And this is right here. I have the rods, which makes me a happy man. And that is rare, V. Rarer than the rain on the Egyptian desert over which Moses wandered. But I digress. The contract is closed. Payment on its way. 